he let his guard slip too soon? Have the authorities in the United States underestimated that threat? Joining me now to discuss this further is the former head of counterterrorism at the Ministry of Defence here in the UK, uh, former General Chip Chapman. Chip, good of you to find time for us uh, uh, this Saturday afternoon. He made that risk assessment and he simply got it wrong. Well, I don't think it really is for him to make that risk assessment. Threat really has three component parts. It has intent which Hadi Matter obviously showed by two attempted murders yesterday. He has capability, which he showed by bringing in a bladed weapon and then was able to get on the stage. And he had the opportunity. So not only was he granted that entry, but there was no barrier for him to get on the stage. We do know that there were two security guards who acted very quickly, but there was no depth between Salman Rushdie and the assailant. So somewhere, the risk assessment and the vulnerability assessment that you would do around a, a potential target was uh, failed in the extreme. Because uh, as folk will have just heard in Tatiana's news bulletin with the interview there from America, that the organisers of this event, which was all about celebrating freedom of speech, the right to say what you want to say and write what you want to say, they said they did not want to have higher profile security. In this country, would the authorities have overruled that? Yeah, and I think certainly since the Manchester uh, attack in 2017, you know, protection is a responsibility, uh, not a mission, but it's for the, uh, the, the people, not only the event organisers, but for those in the city jurisdictions. And of course, in America, there are 18,000 different jurisdictions of law and order. So somewhere someone let their guard down on this. But more interestingly, in a way, is this uh, chap, uh, Hadi Mata, was 24. Most 24-year-olds would never heard of Salman Rushdie would never heard of the satanic verses. So really the process of what got him to a position where he could wander into this event, a ticketed event where he had a ticket, how did that process occur? And so there's a number of questions we would ask ourselves on this. Is there another attack coming? I su suspect it's not. Is there one person, just him, or is there a network? What role did the community play, if, if any? And of course, they'll be exploiting his computers and his phones to see what was on there. And it does look, look like he was a, a Lebanese a Shia extraction. Of course, the Iranian regime is Shia. And lastly, we all often look at what mistakes did government or officials make. And that's when you look at what has happened on this event from the organizers. And it's great to have freedom of speech. And I'm a great supporter of freedom of speech. But protection is still a responsibility, as I said earlier. Absolutely. And, and segueing slightly, because I'm conscious that that many folk are either trying to go on holiday or have managed to get away for the first time. And you just have to be at an airport to hear people groaning about having to give over their bottle of water at security or have the soles of their shoes checked. And come on, I didn't think that threat was still there. In your professional opinion, as the former point man at the Ministry of Defence, that threat is still real or it's likely that this guy is going to prove to be a lone wolf? Well, firstly, MI5 now call these people uh, self-initiated terrorists rather than lone wolf. Uh, lone wolf suggests some sort of cunning rather than uh, most of these people not having that cunning. I do think it's probably an isolated incident. There is The chances of another 9-11 happening these days are remote. And one of the reasons for that, particularly in the example you, uh, you gave there about airports, Alistair, is because airport security is a lot greater. Cabin security is a lot greater. We have no fly lists, which in the, only a handful of people were on in 2001. And if someone, particularly on a plane, were to be uh, try and hijack it, we expect people to now fight against that, uh, as they did in one of the planes in 2001. Brilliant stuff.